A very good morning to the esteem and our own faculty, uh, the convener of Women Empowerment Committee, CA Gianna Tulsija, the uh, coordinator for today's session, mm -hmm. and the one of the committee members, CA Nisha Patel, chairman of Ahmedabad branch, CA Harit Dariwal. I can see many friends, CA Hema, Saurabh, and many other uh, young chartered accountants. Welcome to this third part of the skill development series on uh, personality development. After the overwhelming response and successful sessions on uh, drafting skills, digital skills, we are starting today with the personality development uh, series. The series has been da drafted very exclusive. Uh, each and every expect, whether it is decision-making, negotiation skills, networking skills, everything is covered. And we request all participants to attend all the sessions in order to get the best advantage. With this, uh, let's start the session with ICI Moto. I request each one of you to place your right hand on your heart for ICI. Kamam, 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 Welcome back. I acknowledge the presence of our treasurer, C.A. Sunil Sangvi. Uh, with this, I would now request the chairman of Ahmedabad branch, C.A. Harit Dariwal, to give his opening address. Gentlemen, and uh, very respected faculty for this session, I should say, uh, Gianna Tusija, uh, the secretary of the branch, C.A. Andrew Choksi, uh, treasurer and director's committee chairman, uh, C.A. Sunil Sangvi, Nisha ji, and all the other participants who have joined us today. A very, very good morning to all of you. Uh, first of all, I think uh, uh, kudos to Anjali for designing the entire series of skill development. Uh, we have had yet covered the drafting, digital skills. Today, we are going to have something on the personal development. And uh, I think it is said that, you know, uh, normally they say that, you know, the future is female. But I think present, future, past, everything is female because, you know, everywhere we see, even right now, out of the three, four skills that are on, three are females only. So the majority are always there. And even you can see all the leadership positions right now are dominated by female. And hence, very happy to see Gianna taking up this topic on leadership. And I'm sure all of us, uh, you know, will be having a great time learning from her on how to develop our leadership skills because, you know, we all have that inbuilt leadership inside us. It's just a matter of getting it out. And I'm sure with today's session, Gianna will definitely help all of us discover the leadership, you know, uh, with, with which we have within us. Uh, so thank you, Gianna, for this, uh, for this, uh, uh, accepting this uh, uh, session today. And yes, since all of you are here, I think we are today planning for the direct test, uh, refresher course also, DTRRC, which is going to uh, start from 22nd of October. So we'll be launching the entire series soon. Uh, the entire RRC schedule will be out soon. So please block your dates, October 22nd to 24th in Mumbai. The venue and the details will follow soon. Apart from this, we are also coming up with a very interesting uh, direct test series. Now that will be basically covering a lot of uh, 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 sessions on direct tests, including your ITR, tax audit, uh, 45 four amendments and all the recent amendments. So these are our two hour sessions, which are going to start from 13th of uh, this month. So with this, I think I once again thank uh, Gianna and all the members of uh, the committee for this wonderful skill development series. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman, for giving us the motivation uh, and giving us the freedom to do whatever we wish, whether it's Women Empowerment Committee or whether it's Skill Development or MSME. Thank you so much. 
uh, with this i would first i would request all the participants to start their video because uh, a faculty cannot talk to walls and of course when it is one to one interaction and we are learning this kind of skills it is very important that we start our videos uh, i would now request ca nisha patel to introduce the faculty for today ca jiana uh, and i just did interrupt the one minute here anjali ma'am yes. i think as you rightly mentioned regarding starting off with a video i think we all are here for learning uh, a, a topic like leadership or personal development cannot happen unless and until you see the speaker and you also interact with them so we cannot have people just uh, you know logging in and keeping their videos off so i would request all of you yes one by one to so please switch on your videos and we can have a very meaningful discussion today thank you thank you thank you pinel shah chintan bhai mausam siddharth mohit ji thank you so much Uh, let's make the session interactive we all are sparing our valuable time beat the faculty beat the participants so let's make the most of it and have our learning the best yes nisha uh, please introduce the faculty for today thank you thank you very much anjali for giving me this wonderful opportunity to introduce our very own young dynamic beautiful and i think a one call away miss jiana ja she is very um, uh, like one of the most active member of our committee and i'm proud introducing her today uh, honorable chairman of the branch mr harid dharival branch secretary and uh, chairman uh, chairperson of women members empowerment committee ms anjali uh, all my dear friends a very good morning to all of you first of all i would like to thank our chairman uh, as he rightly said that uh, uh, so many programs are led by women and uh, uh, the credit is surely to you as you are giving us that liberty that uh, we can do things at our own uh, and uh, we can arrange make programs at our own and we are very thankful to uh, you for that and we are looking forward that uh, this help is given to us in future also uh, with these words uh, now i would uh, uh, introduce our very own uh, jiana tulsija i think i have uh, narrated her name properly as she is always having complained that my name is not narrated properly <laughs> the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams and see jiana tulsi ja believe in rising up with the sun to believe in the life of her dreams being a mom of five year old child and a full time partner she lives a life that's challenging and chaotic yet unbelievable beautiful she is a co-founder partner of tulsi ja and associates a chartered accountant firm as well as she is a qualified ca cs and certified concurrent bank auditor her current for, uh, work portfolio involves managing the bank audit in corporation and company law compliance and taxation portfolio of the firm learning leading and yearning are important requisite to achieve success in any part of her life being blessed with beauty and with beautiful heart she has also been awarded as miss talented by icai in 2019 she has served as a convener for women empowerment committee of icai for the year 2020 21 and she was wonderfully she was very much actively led the whole uh, committee she is also gujarat state vice president of women's indian chamber of commerce and industry wiki uh, for mentoring and soft skill council she is also a member of an ngo being women Uh, as per her nature she is always available so uh, i can understand how she is a part of an ngo i strongly believe that to uh, create a righteous life one should seek to enjoy its smaller moments uh, she lives with that motto and she is working each day to carry a portly of such moments home at the end of the day we are very very overwhelmed to have you in between as miss jiana and uh, looking forward to hear from you thank you jiana and over to you thank you nisha thank you for such great words i mean it's one thing to meet you, meet you as a person and it's another thing to you know and listen to all the great words thank you thank you so much for a wonderful introduction you worth it <laughs> <laughs> okay so um let me first share my screen and before i share my screen i might not be able to see the others so in case if there's any query or anything make sure you can just uh, stop me in between and tell me whatever it is sure sure okay so my is my presentation visible
Yes. 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 Okay. So the topic which I've been given is leadership. Now, as Arvind Bhai really uh, said that we all are leaders in one way or the others. You know, you uh, there be some friends, some acquaintances of yours who must have said that you know one day I want to be like you or. Yes, up to do. You might be probably the first generation woman in your house, you know, who started working, or somebody in your office, or if you are a mother, I'm sure your kid might have said someday that I want to be like you, you know. So everybody is a leader in themselves. Once you say you're a CA, I'm sure you must have lead maybe a team of articles when you were a senior article, or now when you're working, you might have have your own team or employees. So. Basically, we all have had roles of a leader in our life. It's just that how to improvise on it, and for that, I am here today. So, before I begin of what a leader is, let me start with a story. You know, like from childhood, we always hear stories from our mama, from our parents, from our dadu dada. You know, it's like at the end we come to know what's the moral of the story. So that way, I start with the story first. Now we assume that there's this royal train which has been started uh, by the government, and uh, it takes you around Gujarat, and you stay in that train. That train is as good as a hotel, and uh, it stops at different places like the uh, Statue of Liberty, Junagar, Bhavnagar. You can visit that, and then come back to the train and sleep, and then it will take you back. Okay, so that's sort of a train just a matter, and in that train. Uh, you're not given a train ticket. You're rather given a boarding pass with a photograph as a ticket confirmation. Now, when you enter the train, say when Nisha enters the train, now this guy here is the leader of the train, the driver of the train, who's been given the responsibility of the whole project. So when you enter the train and you are so happy to see that, okay. The leader is there, standing with people to welcome you, and he's like, "Hi, Gianna, I'm so grateful for you here on the train." And then he's like, "Hi, Nisha, I'm so great you're here. Hope you have a good journey." And I'm thinking, man, how does he know my name? You know, but I'm like, great. He really cares about people. He really cares about people, and maybe that's how he knows my name. And then when I actually board the train. I kind of realized कि उसने हर किसी का boarding pass लेके रखा है उसके photo से उसका नाम याद करके रखा है तो ठीक है it's like okay good really cares then when I go into my cabin okay now we have these kind of cabins when I go into the cabin on the bed near the pillow I see a note written and it says uh, it is from the driver of the train and it says that uh, I have made your bed personally because I really care about Quality. Okay, now I'm thinking that he's really made my bed personally. He has made all the beds. I mean, why is he doing that? I mean, isn't there a team of people who's supposed to make the bed, or is he just doing it for me? I mean, there is something fishy. But okay, he really cares about quality, quality, and maybe that's why he's doing it. Uh, I kind of leave that note also in my mind. I go further. I get ready. Then I go down for lunch, and I see the waiters dressed up in nice black and white dress, and they are greeting me for lunch. And I'm happy to see how beautifully everything is arranged. And then when I sit for my lunch, and there comes a person dressed up, and I'm like, man, I really know this guy. Who this guy is? And believe me, it's the same driver. He's serving me the soup. I'm like, why is he serving me the soup? And then he's like, I like to be in touch with the workers. You know, at times I like to see how things are going. I know he cares about people. I know he cares about quality. I know he likes to be in touch with workers. But believe me, right now I've started wondering, कि train कौन चला रहा है यार? मतलब driver अगर ये सब काम कर रहा है, who's actually running the train? So I somehow have my lunch, and I really want to go and see it in the engine. The train is running. If this guy is everywhere where I go, so I pass through the cabinets, and then I, when I'm going and entering into the kitchen, uh, into the engine, then there is this person who is putting the coals into the furnace, and he's a very strongly built person. He's putting coals into the furnace. His hands are burning. Everything is burning. 
वो दुए में से भी आई थिंक आई कैन रिकॉग्नाइज द फिगर एंड हुज दैट फिगर आई हैव गेस्टेड राइट इट इज द ड्राइवर हु इज एक्चुअली डूइंग द पोल इनटू पुटिंग द पोल इनटू द फर्नेस एंड लाइक व्हाई आर यू डूइंग दिस दिस इज नॉट योर जॉब ही इज लाइक नो 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 आई एम रियली गुड एट इट एंड आई डोंट माइंड रियली गेटिंग माय हैंड्स डर्टी सो आई एम डूइंग दिस आल्सो यू नो आई एम रियली वंडरिंग कि अब पेन कौन चला रहा है and then i rushed to the engine and seeing who is there steering the train and there the person who was actually uh, supposed to put the coal into the furnace is just standing there to see if the train doesn't bang into something and man there's a there's a car in front of our train and i'm scared i'm like kya karu main hi handle idhar udhar karu ya even the other person is scared doesn't really know how to deal with the train and there comes running a train driver somehow he manages and there is no accident and the driver is like hush we are relaxed there is no accident and then he tells me i love this job of mine it is so energetic it is so enthusiasm i am always on my toes whatever ends well is all is well but am i really thinking the way he is thinking matlab i know he cares about people i know he cares about quality he is in touch with the workers he doesn't doing small things he doesn't mean he doesn't mind getting his hands dirty but the actual job what he was supposed to do was getting all into water so no do you think he is a real good leader here i don't think so personally i am doubting this whole thing and i don't want to be a part of the journey anymore because i'm scared so this is what i mean a leader is you know a leader doesn't mean that you are doing everything on your own no you should rather be as a leader as the driver of the train walking around the train seeing you have a team arranged seeing everything is being done properly that is what you're supposed to do if i wasn't welcomed well and if somebody uh, did something wrong in my bedroom if the bed wasn't made well yes it was the problem of the leader he could have been blamed but that doesn't mean he is doing everything on his own he should manage his people he should have a team of people doing it he should have the systems to do it so that the task is achieved so uh, there is always uh, a conflict between leadership is a subset of management or management is a subset of leader you know there have been hundreds and thousands of books written about leaders many people have defined what leaders are i personally feel a leader is a, is somebody who inspires people you know it's not somebody who just gives people tasks to do it and a goal to achieve it no you know like if you really inspire people they are really inspired by you they will end up following you even if you don't ask them to you know it's not that you have to tell them at every point this is how i have things to be done just be an inspiration for everybody and there you are so who is a leader so there is not much difference between a management and a leader a leader is more about motivation whereas a manager is more about the process quality and getting the task done you know basically here we are going to cover both because management and leadership for me goes hand in hand now like i said the leader has three things to do you know rather than doing every work on his own he should create a machine of people you know a people he should be good at selecting his team he should be good at knowing who can do what in a better way we should create system systems that things are working on their own you know everything is on an automation mode now see in the same uh, example everything is nice in the leader is not how i told you the train is really going well and now um say they stop on some point okay and um, they say stop that sashan gear or something and the leader the, the main leader of the train met with some accident and he couldn't continue the journey so do you think the journey stopped there and then no if he was really a good leader the journey wouldn't have stopped there and then why because he has good people taking care of his uh, his work he has a system running for all the things 
everything will function without the leader, even if he's not there. Like many times I've seen, you know, people are coming for seminars, even if it is a half hour seminar or, you know, a one hour seminar, most of the time they are on the call, you know, from the offices. Now, if your office cannot run without you, even for an hour, then I think there's a great question about your system, right? So your systems should be assigned in a way that even if you're not there for a while, it is okay. The things will be done in the way they're supposed to be done. But yes, if you're not there for a while, it is good because everybody will know what to do. They will do it and, and rest assured your work will not stop. But after a while, you know, say six months, a year, scenario changes, the environment changes. Now, when I say the environment changes, it might be the policies are changing or maybe you've got, you've got good enough competitors around. So that will change. And when something like that change, the team needs the leader to amend the policies, to amend the way they are working so that they can cope up with the environment. Then they start missing the leader. So I'm not saying the system the people are there, systems are set, if the goals are set, they don't need a leader. They need a leader. They need a leader after a point of time because people will start getting bored, you know, they won't be motiva motivated to do the job. You know, they need somebody to uh, appraise them or maybe to move them further, give them new jobs, give them new tasks, to keep them motivated. So that is where the job of a leader comes, right? So here we conclude is the task of the leader. He should have people, he should have system, and he should have a goal where all of this is working to. Now, people always have this uh, question in mind, you know, ki, uh, are leaders, like, you know, leaders are born, or can he really be a leader, like, is it in me? Kabhi bhi, you know, when somebody is given a task to lead, but believe me, if somebody is telling you to lead, he has that belief in you that you, you can do it. You know, Bachpan maybe I think somewhere in our past, it's one of our teacher, either in the school or in college or a mentor while we were doing CA studies. Who must have got that thing out in us, you know, that you have this thing and then you realize, okay, now I want to do CA, you know. So there is somewhere a mentor over there and who believes that you can lead. So um, again, there is this theory of John Adair. Now, John Adair is like the biggest leader of the world. He was an army man and um, he was once given a task to find the characteristics of the good leader. So you, he had to basically find the good leader among all the lieutenants and all the colonels who were leading the battalions and teams. So after his study of like of like six to eight months, he realized and what he concluded, concluded was that leader is not somebody who has a good personality, who can speak really well, who is a very good influencer. No. A leader is somebody, you know, who does what he does. So a good leader is made from what he does and not from what he is, you know. So the task he does, the way he does it is what makes him a good leader. So, okay, unless until we want to be like uh, some great leaders like uh, Modi ji and Gandhi ji and many others, the rest, are something which you can get into. You know, if you just need a little knowledge from your side, maybe a little practice, maybe you should know how to deal with things and people, and you're good to go as a leader. So I wouldn't say that leaders are just born. You can become a leader if you want to. So it is what you do what matters and not what you are. It's not short height or it's not that you're not presentable. That will stop you from being a leader. If you really want to be a leader, you can be a leader. Now, like I said earlier in that same example of mine, that 
a leader's job is to see things are done properly. The driver over there was expected to just walk around the train and see things are done properly. And believe me, if my soup was not good, then it was the fault of the leader that he should have taken care that my soup, that my soup was good. If my bed wasn't made well, believe me, it was the fault of the leader that he should have seen his team was doing everything properly. So at the end, it's always management fault. Now, you know, whenever we also audit our books and we get certificates, somehow we write, you know, the first liners as per management's uh, information provided, as, as per the information provided, provided to us by the management. So yes, at the end, it does come to its management's fault. आज हमारे ऑडिट्स में कुछ गड़बड़ हो जाती है तो वी डोंट एक्सपेक्ट आर आर्टिकल जिसने किया है टू टेल द क्लाइंट कि यू कैन जस्ट गो वेयर एवर यू वांट टू इट्स माय बॉसेस फॉल्ट ही शुड हैव नोन आई कुड आई कैन नॉट डू इट एंड ही शुडंट हैव गिवन मी द टास्क एट फर्स्ट प्लेस नो ही इज नॉट द पर्सन टू से दैट यस बट द क्लाइंट विल कम टू अस एंड मे बी समहाउ इफ वी टैकल इट विद व्हिच वी आर वेरी गुड and if we don't calculate it is our fault that the thing was done and we cannot blame the article for it right so uh, in this example let, let me give you another example how to understand what it really is and who should we blame when it comes to a blunder being made okay now say in this art in this train example only which we were saying some how like i said the person met with an accident you know jab hi wo i think gear pe utra tha and he met with an accident abhi uh, when he met with an accident so he had given some task to him some other person who had come to who had come and driven the uh, train on his behalf now when that other person came no now some of that driver which had come was uh, Given a job at the Sabarmati station. So now see, there are Ahmedabad. Me, there are different stations. There is Kalupur station. There is Sabarmati station. Sabarmati station ke drivers alag hote honge. Kalupur ke alag hote honge. Now, ye train chalane ke liye jo aaye the, wo Sabarmati ke drivers. Now, wo drivers ji kya karte hain? Un log ki Sabarmati stations ke drivers ki aadat hai. See, this is all a story. Then something real in it. So, udhar bhi azhi hum unki aadat hai ki wo three, four, five baje they have this. 15-20 minutes का thing जब उनको चाय पीने की आदत है, okay? तो वो चाय पीने चले गए तीन सवा तीन बजे और उन्होंने like I said the person जो cold आ रहे थे furnace में उनको दे दे दिया कि भाई तुम देख लेना 15 minutes में चाय पी कर रहा हूँ और उस 15 minutes में एक accident हो जाता है, okay? So they meet with an accident in that 15 minutes and at that time when the accident happened. the person who was actually given the job of putting coal into the furnace was at the steering so us time pe to obviously halla mar jata hai sab usko pakad lete hain aur usko jail mein dal dete hain now really is it, it is his fault or do you think it is the driver's fault hmm i really don't think it's the driver's fault as well now say ye sabarmati station ka koi driver tha jisme एक कोलमैन को वो काम दे दिया। उसको छह आठ महीने हुए थे अपॉइंट करने के लिए एंड ही रियलाइज कालूपुर को बराबर चल रहा है एंड ही न्यू साबरमती में ये कल्चर है पंद्रह मिनट के लिए दे ऑल गो फॉर टी एंड एवरीथिंग now he understands that there is a risk for it okay so he could have stopped it 15 minute is a small amount of time but us 15 minute mein bhi something like this can happen so he understands and he knows what he is supposed to do he is supposed to change the culture even if it is going out since ages if something is wrong if something is harmful he is supposed to change it but he was like yaar main naya naya hi aaya hu अभी से इतनी सदियों पुराना कल्चर चेंज करने जाऊंगा तो यू नेवर नो दे विल नॉट फॉलो माय इंस्ट्रक्शंस मुझे प्रॉब्लम होगी एंड ऑल दैट तो ही काइंड ऑफ प्राइस टू अवॉइड इट यू नो तो व्हेन समथिंग लाइक दिस हैपेंस यू माइट ब्लेम द ड्राइवर यू माइट ब्लेम द सुपरवाइजर हु रियली नोस दिस थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग 
but i think the first person i would like to blame is the manager because if he really knew something like this was happening it was his utmost responsibility to get the change done to get the culture change even if people had a problem with it that everything you change for once people have a problem with it right so if i really had to sack somebody i would sack the underwater manager and i might have to sack the supervisor as well i would maybe give an uh, a penalty or something to the driver and make sure that this culture was something which was followed but this will not be followed because yes at the end it is the fault of the management right uh i hope i'm not going very fast and you guys are following right okay no queries as of now so i guess yes so wait let me get back to it now when i say a leader's task is to actually manage people build a machine of people how do you do that how do you manage your people people are appointed how do you connect to your team so you know it is always said that pele it was it used to say that he who communicate leads i wouldn't just say he who communicate leads and it came she who communicates leads i would rather say the one who communicate leads so communication is a very important part of being a good leader how do you communicate so theoretically there are five ways there must be many ways of communicating but here i have noted down five ways of communication there is management by walking around there is back to the floor there is cascade down of information team meeting addressing the two groups so when we say management by walking around i have my own office you can um, i am not expected or i am rather not a person who is just enter into the office say good morning good afternoon good night to my staff get into my cabin and sit there do my work and when my work ends i go out no no that is not the way you connect with your team management by walking around is once in a while i don't know if say if you if you belong to an industry maybe once in a day or once in a week depending on or, or maybe if you are somebody who's holding various branches or uh, at different cities or different states you should go there and walk around the whole thing and see how things are functioning if i am having a small office i walk around probably every day and i talk with my staff you know there is a difference once at the staff we have this policy that if somebody wants to leave they have to actually mail their leave application and then we approve it and that is how it is and then it in out of the blue i just got a mail and the mail said somebody is not well at my home and so i want to leave so obviously if something is about health you just approve it so i approved it and then two din ke baad and and i'm just walking around i have this habit we Uh, at least four days a week, we tend to have lunch with the staff itself. You know, you and believe me, you get to know a lot which you don't get to know when you're sitting in a cabin on your seat when you actually sit with them, talk to them. So we were just sitting and having lunch, and somehow these people ended up talking. Yeah, two days before to power got gone. That how was it? Like power got gone. It's like I was like I got an application for this thing, and this. is what i mean happens when you walk around you know there are a lot of things you come to know when you walk around with people because when you sitting you know in on the boss chair and when you get the report you just get the final report us report ke piche kya 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 kaam hua hai kis kis log ne kaise kaise kaam kiya hai you will not come to know until and unless you actually see through it so management by walking around is a very good way of actually connecting to your team communicating with them you know you have given the task when you see around when you stand in front of the computer for 2 minutes and you know they are doing something maybe on which they are working from from last two days and then you are only giving them that task so you come to know that yaar tu ye galat kar raha hai if you would have done this that way to shayad ye kaam jaldi ho jata because if you wouldn't have done it then you would have got 
happen the result when you would have gotten or when you would have wanted to so i would always say just don't be the ones who are there in the cabin and sitting go talk to people go talk to the people who are working for you ask them what is wrong if they have a problem just move around you know and see if your systems are working the way you expect them to work okay and the next is back to the floor now when i say back to the floor what i really mean is doing the smallest job which is there in your in your office you know like i can say the smallest job which i think is which is maybe my peon who is filing my files okay so once a year you should go file a few files you know so there are a few things happens when you do that at times you realize ki kuch kuch cheeze jo maybe a technology when you're standing between your team when you're filing your files you realize yaar pcs mein se ek do pc to aisa hai jo chal hi nahi raha okay so they are not complaining somehow it is not coming up to and maybe that is why the speed is slow maybe that is why the things are not uh, getting completed in the time i expect them to complete because shayad kuch kuch resources have gone outdated which i should improvise when i'm filing things i'm talking to them maybe i'm telling them ki jab main article ship mein thi tab aise filing hoti thi now you know this is how i would want things to be filed i think this is a better better way to do it so the coaching part you know hum log ko waise bhi as a ca firm many times we feel that we are a training school so then yes if we are why not admit it and do it in the right way right So when I say back to the floor is actually doing that task, and you know when you do that task, when you do the filing task, that that your team will be better. But if you do that, it is so important that my manager is actually coming and doing it, so he also realizes and feels the worth of what he was doing. You know, he'll be motivated to do it in a better way, right? So back to the floor is also something you should do once in a while. That is doing the least important job or the least paid job. so that people come to know that even the job is least paid it doesn't mean it doesn't matter it really matters when as far as a ca firm is concerned filing is one of the most important things right so that is it then the next way of connecting to your people is cascade down of information now when i say cascade down of information what i really mean is we tell maybe see i have three years assigned and then they have uh, another paid staff and then they have articles so everybody has their team you know i might just call the leader and tell him you see this is what i want to get done and this is how i want to get done he will go he will assign the part of the work to some other people but remember we used to play that game bachpan mein where uh, we used to sit in a circle and uh, and there used to be these uh, we used to say a sentence wo dusre ke mein bolta tha phir wo dusre ke kaan mein bolta tha wo dusre ke kaan mein bolta tha ultimately jo last mein sentence aata tha uska matlab aur jo initially bola gaya tha un dono ka matlab was completely different right so when i say cascade down of information is it is very much possible ki what you wanted to convey and what is actually been conveyed is different now as far as automation here comes automation see bsc is getting automated apne aap you get your 3 bs ready itr is also getting automated there will be a point when everything is just ready you have to just submit and pay the tax and things will be done sab kuch automate ho raha hai then we have to automate ourselves as well our ca firms have to get automated there are a lot of cloud based softwares available in which you can assign tasks So when I assign task as a manager, there is a tab. I say Ankit is my staff, and I'm giving some work to Ankit, and he it gets the way I want, and that is the way Ankit will see it. You know, something when it's written, it is the way it is supposed to be presented. So here comes automation. And ever now you are passing messages, it is always advisable. That you use some technology, you use some drafting material, so that things which you want to convey are exactly conveyed the way you want them to you know there is no communication glitch there 
making a blunder in the uh, result which you wanted and wasting time of everybody. Okay, so this is one thing. Next is team meetings. Here, as far as CFOs are concerned, we feel that we work in a very informal way. Japan, I'm telling you that anyways, there is management. If there is management, by walking around, if there is back to the floor, what is the need of team meetings? You know, we know what everybody is doing. No, there is always a need of team meeting. Even say if it is for fifteen minutes, you should have a team meeting. Why I am saying you should have a team meeting is because. Maybe you've given some work to team A and not to team B. But when I say team meeting, maybe I'm having meeting with all the teams and I'm discussing something which I've given it to team A. And maybe somebody from team B comes up with something which none of us had thought of and which was actually a very very good idea. So getting ideas on a project from people working on the other project is also something that happens in team meetings. Now, say if I am working in an industry, I will have team meetings with my staff, and maybe I will have a team meeting with my boss as well. So there are a lot of team meetings which are happening, and which is good, which is a very good way of understanding or discussing the changes in the scenario. You know, in a CA firm, what we do is uh, there is a meeting every month, and then every month an article or maybe a staff is given. A job of discussing a new uh, new policy or a new updation in any policy which has come up and explaining it to everybody, you know. So people are updated, people are on their toes, and if you get stuck in something which is new, somehow there is you know, उस person ने बताया था तो उसने तो उसके अंदर in depth research किया होगा so rather आज है. The team starts bonding. You know, it is not that the audit department is of audit department paying. Hai. It is not that the uh, income tax wala department is of income tax nahi baat kar rahe. No, let the people gel up. Let the people share knowledge. Because in the end, everybody here is working to learn. So when you meet people, when you talk to them, or when you listen to the way everybody is working, you learn a lot of things. You know. I'm not saying that he was doing this, so I can do this too. It's always a good thing, you know. Oh, wait, this is how we solve this problem. I should also try solving my problem. As a boss, you cannot be everywhere, every time. So why not connect your own people who can help each other? So team meetings are very important. Last is addressing the group. When I say addressing the group, it means it is a very good. Way of motivating your team. Okay, addressing the troops means once in a year there is a gala dinner, or say in our culture we can do it at the time of Diwali. You know, like uh, we can have a meeting with, we can have a picnic or maybe a dinner, or we are going out not with just the employee but with the family. You know, we really feel that okay, we are a family here when once their family is also involved. So okay, you. May give them gifts for Diwali. When I say giving a gift to every employee for Diwali is not the monetary value which I'm talking about. It again, comes back to what you do as a leader. It is the gesture that you show and that you're thankful to them that they've been working for us throughout the year. And without them, we wouldn't have been where we are. You know, ultimately, it is you people who are putting my systems into work and who are. Getting my firm ahead, so yes, Diwali dinner is something I would really suggest that we all should do with our. I mean, if it's not a Diwali, maybe Christmas or whatever. But yes, once a year, meet them informally. Let the floor be open for them to come talk to you informally if they have problems. You know, it's not just them who might have problems with. They might be okay with everything, but maybe somebody in the family has a problem. You know, say if. Uh, If somebody's wife during the dinner comes and tells you that uh, he wasn't a person who was very uh, aggressive and an angry sort of a person, but then uh, since last month I'm noticing that whenever he comes home, he's very angry, he's very frustrated. I really think there is something at work, but whenever I ask him, I don't get anything in return. So if you being the manager, if you being the boss, can really. See into it if there is something bothering us. So 
things like that come up and then when i go and i realize okay the person was really overburdened so it is very much important to have such meetings which will create a good connect with the team you have so communicate communicate whatever it is and communicate in a very nice formal informal way say now when i'm going out and i'm talking to my my staff out there i'm like hi babe how are you doing things are you okay with the system say we somebody new so have you settled down is there something that you need you know so break that ice wall which you think is between you and the staff okay the more that is broken the more informal way you informal environment you create the more people are going to open up to you the more they are going to come up with the problem now say when i say create that informal environment i don't say leave control there is a very thin line between leaving control and being completely friendly you should still be able to be in control and tell them what you want and demand it in the time you want to but they should be comfortable enough to come to you with a problem if they have is all i want to say okay so now moving forward like i said who is a good leader so basically who gets the task done who keeps the processes in place and whose team is happy this is all we discussed okay now when i say about communication Okay, there is this theory of a management potato. When you communicate with people, okay, now see you are communicating with people. You have good team, but still somehow your work is not being done the way you want to. Why is that so? And let me tell you, there is something called motivation, which even if a person who is very qualified, who is very good at their work. If somebody who is not motivated to do things, you will not find the results you want from that person. So a good leader should really try things to motivate their people. Now, say I am giving this lecture, okay, and uh, I got a VOT, I got a very good intro. I giving a lecture because I like to take sessions like this. So. This is something I want to do, and I'm doing it. Okay, and I will keep doing it. But at some point of time, if somebody from you, abhi I know sabke videos bandi hai, but if somebody of you, even after the thing gets over, sends me a message and says, "Ki your lecture was really good. I learned something out of it, or there is something I think I will follow." Will it be something that will motivate me, and I will actually want to do it again. so appraisal is a very very important part you know self actualization is a very important part so i'm not saying i should not have believe in myself i am believe in myself i think i can do it and that's the reason i'm doing it but if somebody appraises it and tells me yaar jo bhi tum kar rahe ho wo acha kar rahe ho aur sahi kar rahe ho it just adds a you know cherry at the top on whatever i'm doing so motivation is what you have to give to your employees now there is this theory like i said of a management potato now see this is a potato this is something which you are very good at okay you don't have to bother about maybe this is these are your qualities for which you are being appointed in the form this is something which you are not good at and you think you just cannot do there is this major part of potato is the area you kind you kind of okay with and if you are given a task you do it exactly so there is no big deal in not doing this properly now if a person is doing it obviously he is appointed to now say if i appoint a person to the budgeting okay he is the head of the budgeting department now he must have made but because he is the head of the budgeting department har mahine wo mere liye budget leke aata hai those are the budgets which i am actually following now say month maybe this august the budget which he got me was something i actually made a loss due to it and 
मैं बहुत गुस्सा हो गई और आई एम लाइक दैट दिस इज नॉट दिस इज वन थिंग व्हिच आई अपॉइंटेड फॉर यू एंड दिस इज आल्सो नॉट समथिंग यू कैन डू देन व्हाई आर यू हियर इन माय ऑफिस दिस इज रॉन्ग व्हाट आई डिड उसने तुम अह इतने से लेके बाकी के बजट्स अच्छे बना के तब तो मैंने अप्रेस तो किया नहीं नहीं मैंने बोला यार तूने तो मेरे बहुत पैसे बचा दिए बट एक बजट जिसमें उसने गड़बड़ कर दी आउट ऑफ द मेनी व्हिच हैज मेड आई एम देयर स्कोल्डिंग हिम एंड टेलिंग हिम व्हाई आर यू हियर फॉर यू नो This is what also you cannot do a simple task which you're appointed for, and I think I'm paying you so much, and you're the best in the industry. And this is what you end up doing it, and that's bad. I am really not a good leader if I do that. This is not the way. What will happen if I do that? You know, this person, he's ne, baki ke mahine ke budget achhe bana ke diye. His point was ki I should try to save as much funds as I can, as much resources as I can. Now after this incident, he will be like, I will just make a good enough budget. Why I put so much of my brains into it when he doesn't even bother, you know? So his efficiency will start to reduce. He would be, he would have been performing at the peak. Maybe something happened. That something I didn't even bother to ask him, you know? He what went wrong? It might be a personal issue. It might be something COVID. Just like I say, assume COVID. Just like I got me, no one will die. I really didn't bother. I wanted my work, which didn't happen. So next time, say this person will not put his hundred percent for sure. Efficiency will reduce. Okay. Now, say there is some normal sa kam which a person is doing, which falls into this. Say I have this seminar, and then I told him to make a PPT for me on. Set the background and everything for the seminar. It is a very normal thing for him to set the background and everything. Other if one new employee aya hota, so he would have been so enthusiastic. Usne bahut achhi PPT bana di mere liye. Usne achhe se mere liye koi virtual background wagera set kar diya and everything. And man, my uh, seminar went really well and I got a lot of appraisal. But did I pass that appraisal on him? Did I tell him thank you for doing it for me? So I could do it well. No, I didn't. I just took the appraisal and I was happy for my own self. I didn't pass that time cue to my staff. You know, so but he was a new staff. He's enthusiastic at doing it, so he will do it. But eventually, because my staff was saying, "Hey, Rio, ki yar, acha hai, kharaab hai, bahut acha hai. I'm liking it. Continue doing it. You know, you're really good at your job." He will lose interest in doing it, and maybe because it is a routine job, he will get a background uh, backdrop. Chale jayenge, maybe it will get effects. Go more jayenge. Why? Because it was a normal thing, but he really liked to do it, and even for that, I didn't praise him. Then, who can be actually doing it? And who can be doing it? Something he is not good at. Believe me, his strength will not be there because he will be like, "Jomai, bahut achhe se karta tha. Usme to kabi kuch bola nahi unhone." जो काम मुझे वैसे ही डर लगता है करने के लिए आई सिंपल वर्ड ऑफ थैंक यू टू योर स्टाफ इफ दे थिंक दे डिड समथिंग यू नो सो डांटो नहीं डांटो मैं नहीं कह रही आर ट्रेनिंग स्कूल वी आर सपोज टू टीच सपोज टू कोच है There is a way of coaching people. If you say you tell them you are wrong and say it that they are wrong, but then when they are right and when they have done something in a very nice manner, tell them that they are doing things in a very nice manner and you are happy with that work. This one line saying that we are very happy with that work they do makes a lot of difference. And believe me, as a Boss, if you cannot say that every now and then going around in the office, then the meager Diwali dinner was the time you can say it to them. You know, once in a year at least you can do it when you're meeting informally. Say it in front of their families that we are so happy with the way you work, or maybe this is the quality of yours that once the work is given to you, I am just rest assured you will be okay. Yeah, you know. Say thank you. Is all I want to say. Then, even when you have to improvise somebody, you know, when you coach them, there is this theory of 
good and bad sandwich. Okay, that is a good, bad, good sandwich. When I say a good, bad, good sandwich, it means a good news ho, then a bad news ho, then a good news ho. So somehow, the bad news ka impact kam ho jata. Now, wait, let us go through this. The data of performance turns into the prune of performance. Like I said, if you don't appreciate what they want, so the employees actually stop doing things they wanted to do. So just praise them. Say thank you. Thoda bol do ki jo aap kar rahe ho, acha kar rahe ho. Abhi kisi ne ek report rakhi aapke samne. I'm not saying ki yaar hamare article se time pe hua hai hamare saath ki report jaise fake the 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 sir or fir bol the the. Okay, that was also a way we learned. Okay, but then there have also been times when I have gone to that same sir and told him. सर मेरे साथ ऑडिट के टाइम पे मेरे को पढ़ाई करनी है क्योंकि बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट काम है तो ही हैज टोल्ड मी कि ठीक है कर लो नो दैट इंपॉर्टेंट टू बट व्हाई बिकॉज़ वो डांटते थे तो वो समझाते भी थे सो व्हेन आई व्हेन से समबडी इज कमिंग यू विद अ रिपोर्ट एंड देन देयर इज दिस पार्ट ऑफ द रिपोर्ट व्हिच इज नॉट डन गुड यू नो सो रादर देन जस्ट सेइंग यार तुम इतना भी काम अच्छे से नहीं कर सकते थे जस्ट गेट आउट ऑफ द ऑफिस यू डोंट डिजर्व दिस जॉब यू डोंट डिजर्व टू डू दिस सी व्हाट ही हैज डन इन अ बेटर वे Tell him, oh, this is something you've really done nicely. I think everybody should follow this. As a coach, and then say, but I think you can improve on this part as well. You know, this part needs a little bit of more improvement. And then tell them, I hope you will come back with it in a better way and whatever it is. But I think you understand what I mean to say. Just don't throw the bad news on their face. That's it. Don't demotivate them. Tell them to do the right thing. But make sure they're motivated. Make sure they still want to do what they're doing, and they're not bored of it, right? So it is your task. Once you say you're a leader, it is not just the task. He, you have systems made. You have given them a task assigned. To them. You also have to see what they are doing is really what they want to do. Okay. So now, uh, can I say it? maybe you go or you walk around or I say I have lunch with them. Many a times I figured out that I have somebody in my staff who aspires to have his own office one day. So when there are people who just want to go into the industry, so then it is on me because I know this person aspires to have an office one day. See, I don't see him as a competitor there and then no, I don't. I would want him to learn everything and know know the ins and outs of having an office. So he is the person. Who I can give more work because once you are a boss, there is a lot of work on you. Or maybe I should give him a team that he also learns to follow. He also learns to be a leader there and then. So give people what they want to do, and keep them motivated is what a manager is supposed to do. Now, when I say motivation, one question with. Comes in my mind that is money a great motivator? मतलब अगर मैं हर किसी को बस प्रमोट करती जाऊँ और salary salary बढ़ाती जाऊँ is that enough for motivation? I don't think so. That's enough for motivation. I mean money is a push. Like there are two types of motivation. The one is a push motivation and the other is a pull motivation. Push motivation is something which makes you do things. And pull motivator is something which makes you want to do things. So, if your salary is higher, responsibility will be higher. So, you will end up doing it, doing work more sincerely, right? So, if that is the scenario, if you understand, I am increasing my salary every six months. I am increasing my salary every six months. Okay, because Increases. You know that every ten months, every six months, you will get, just get a two percent rise, and the amount is deposited in your uh, account. And I'm not saying anything to you. So do you think even after giving you more money, your efficiency will increase? No, because now you know it is a tradition. I mean, if salary will increase, prices will increase. So when I say motivation is something, your efficiency should increase. Now, suppose I'm six months, I'm not giving you any money. अपने साल में या दो साल में एक बार आपको प्रमोट करनी विद दैट प्रमोशन आई इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरीबॉडी 
that I am so happy with his work. He's he's done amazing. This is what he had started with. This is what he has achieved, and that is the reason I am giving you this promotion. You know, saying in front of him and saying in front of everybody is what motivates. I can bet on it. I'll say, "Ab bigna wo naya dress pente." ऐसे ही बी वॉकिंग इन द ऑफिस जैसे ही प्रमोटेड एज अ बॉस हिमसेल्फ यू नो यू सी द डिफरेंस आफ्टर अप्रेजल इन पर्सन कैरेक्टर ऑल्सो यू नो दी वॉक द वे टॉक द मोर यू अप्रेज हिम द मोर एफिशियंट ही बिकम्स एंड मैं नहीं बोल रही हूँ बटर लगाओ आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू अप्रेज दैम बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू गेट माई वर्क डन नो तो बहुत ही अच्छा है यार तेर से तो ये काम दो मिनट में हो जाए नो नो not that sort of an appraisal i'm not talking about that i'm just talking about acknowledging acknowledging what they really have done for you and giving them an award for that so money i don't think is just a motivator you know motivation can be a lot of other things as well ha main kisi ki salary reduce karungi if i pay cut if the pay cut reduces that reduces the motivation for sure so basically if i reduce somebody's salary then i can say ki how uska motivation kam ho jayega okay nobody likes to be demoted so that is a short short thing maybe they will be uh, demotivated because of that a pay rise always will increase motivation is not the thing a pay rise with acknowledgement will definitely increase motivation right सो so, अगर पैसा मोटिवेट नहीं करता है तो क्या मोटिवेट करता है क्या क्या मोटिवेट कर सकता है दादा लाइक ऐसे से थैंक यू ओके एंड देर आर लॉट ऑफ अदर थिंग्स विच डू मोटिवेट पीपल वी विल कम टू दैट बिफोर दैट आई टेल यू दिस वो भी मैकेनिकल काम होते हैं ओके मे बी जिसमें किसी की वो नहीं होती उसमें आई यू के मोर मनी एंड यू विल गेट मोर आउटपुट non mechanical work like i said the work where research is involved or work, work where your brain is involved unless you don't want to do it you will not be able to do it and if i if i am a person just ko lagta hai ki every time i give money i will be able to motivate people and i will get my work done then believe me it is leading you nowhere there will be some point of time your budgets are overburdened uh, you are playing you are paying more to people getting a task done which could have been done without paying so much so money as a motivator is a road to no right so what is i come to this question after the other slide okay so these are different types of motivation give everyone ownership of something now office mein choti se choti cheez bhi hogi na somebody an ownership of something matlab mera pyon dekh raha hai ki kisi bhi table pe koi bhi bottle ya glass ya cup nahi hona chahiye at any hour of time if uh, until it is somebody is not using it he is responsible for that believe me people at work if given responsibility of something they like it okay they really like it they That is an encouragement for them. But when I am telling you, itni files is response. This is the responsibility of that person. If something of this sort is not filed properly, you are the person that will come to it. Yes, that is a motivation. Okay, that my boss believes that I will do this work. Okay. Involve people as much as possible in decision. Like I said, team meeting or whatever decision you want to make, ask your people. Sit with them. Talk to them in an informal way. Get their suggestions as well. If you are thinking of changing on cloud basis, ask them. We are thinking of that. If not, what we are thinking of, and we want to do that, and we are thinking of this software. Do you have any other ideas? They might come up with some software which is better than what you thought of. So talk to them. And give everyone a challenge. Yes, every now and then people want a challenge to know their inner strength. एक काम जो रूटीन में हो रहा है वो ही रहा है 
in this file what has really gone wrong or you know some some challenge you can think of in your work to your staff other than the routine also they are doing that keeps them on their toes you know it keeps their brain working around and let people set their own objectives now see i have a task and i think that can be done in 3 to 4 days and i give the task to mr a and i tell mr a let see this is something i want you to do tell me in how much time can you do it for me you decide it on your own he might end up saying it two days i will like okay glad maine to char socha to wo to do din mein hi karke de do so let them decide on their own what they want to do and how fast they want to do okay or at times there is something which i want them to be done so when i say i want it to be done i just tell them this is what i want how do you think you will do it for me he gives me a plan so there might be things jo maine socha bhi nahi tha wo kar sakta hai and i come to know okay he has he really has those capabilities of doing it you come to know a lot you discover a lot about your staff your employees when you actually let them set their own objectives okay there might be a thing jis din ke liye maine char din soche the jis kaam ke liye uske liye wo soch raha hai usko सात दिन लगेंगे देन आई कैन स्टॉप इम नो 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 नॉट सेवन डेज एट द मोस्ट आई कैन गिव यू इज फाइव डेज और फोर डेज इज व्हाट आई एक्सपेक्ट द टास्क टू गेट डन इट लेट कीप द सेट देयर ओन ऑब्जेक्टिव्स डू रेगुलर अप्रेजल्स नाउ अप्रेजल्स टेक योर टाइम आई अंडरस्टैंड दे आर टाइम टेकिंग टास्क बट डू मेंटेन अ फाइल ऑफ पीपल मे बी ऑफ एवरी एम्प्लॉई सी इफ यू आर इन टू अ स्मॉल फॉर्म यू कैन डू इट ऑन योर ओन If you're not into a small firm, it's a big firm. Maybe you have a team of people doing it for you, but you can go through it. Can you say appraisals? Team, if it can be quarterly, it can be half yearly. But if you have something on paper about an employee at the end of the year, when I said we will have that gala dinner, Mr. Devani, is something when you read out that report, you tell them from where they reached there. Or if they have not, if they have not. Um, increase the quality or efficiency as you expect them to so i'm really happy to say it in a very nice way you know rather than saying in a very blunt and rude egoistic way it's like um, you reached from here to here but i was really expecting a lot from you when i appointed you you know you could have done really better but now if not this year maybe the next year i expect you to do what i what i see in you you know and come on now back up it's been a year you know our firm now now show us your real talent you know motivate encourage your people then is provide and you know it is a spelling error if it's provide security give information and be consistent humne bachpan mein i don't know somewhere as i remember hum when we studied leadership in our management theory there was the maslow theory which is a very popular theory of leadership which says somebody to retain somebody in their job you need to give them security okay and security which you think you are giving it to them if by paying this money leave me no there are other ways to provide security okay now say during these covid times i think there were many firms there were many companies if somebody wrong happened with somebody's family the company provided for them there were insurance facilities given to people there were even hospital facilities arranged by companies so that is also security what i am talking to you about with information with information now with the staff it's so if your employee is working on a case day in and day night for you you went and presented it say it was a litigation you went you won the case come back tell the person what happened tell the person he whatever work he did helped me there and we won the case and even if you didn't win if you lost it, tell him even if you this is why we lost it so it's not about just getting this work done because ultimately the client meeting has been so you as a boss are sitting with the client so tell them the result of it also i'm not saying to share the secrets of your policies but do inform them you know that helps them to consistently work the way they are right next is give lots of praise and encouragement this we've already discussed thank people everyone at least once a week i'm not saying har monday ko ja ke main thank you bolunga nahi but 
नहीं नहीं कहता है सॉरी और थैंक यू एट दिस साइड ऑफ द टेबल हमारे मुंह से नहीं निकलता है सो इट इज अ वेरी स्मॉल जेस्टर बट इट विल बी गुड इफ यू ट्राई एंड इनकेट दैट थिंग इन आवर यू नो गिव इन यार अभी कैसे होता है ना अगर मेरे प्यून ने चाय अच्छी बना दी और मैं सिर्फ उसको बोल यार आपने बहुत अच्छी चाय बनाई है दैट इज आल्सो एन एनकरेजमेंट राइट सो हैव दैट एज अ प्रैक्टिस नॉट सिर्फ काम में बट घर पे एंड एज अ पर्सन इट रियली क्रिएट द पॉजिटिव एनवायरनमेंट गिव इंडिविजुअल प्रोग्रेस गोल्स एंड टीम वर्क्स दिस एज व्हेन आई सेड अप्रेजल करो यार get the team together give them individual goals also give them a challenge as well coach rather than criticize this as well. this is also what we discussed when we talked about the good bad good sandwich offer constant learning yes see people like it when they are learning more things everybody likes to move ahead so give them a change when they are working on something you know and somehow in our industry which we are forced to learn you know jo bhi kar rahe hain agar if you don't learn new things uh, we'll be outdated ourselves so give your staff also an opportunity to maybe shift them from one department to another or give them a project which is uh, something which has more responsibility you know eventually make them not feel that they are still at point zero from where they started the more they learn the more they grow and that is your responsibility as a leader to make sure it is happening involve people in their own development right team meetings aaj agar kisi staff ne mujhe suggest kiya ki ya ye uh, software acha hai and we should do that so what i am doing next time is next time okay i am trying that software uska responsibility bhi main usko hi de rahi hu then you take charge of this thing and see if it is followed by everybody you make people understand how things go so involve them in their own development it's not that ki mai bol rahi hu ki tere ko ye kaam karna hai and i think now he should move a step further then i give something with him with, with more responsibility and he think he should do it no let him know i should let him first learn a thing see tomorrow i want to give you something about uh, dgf i want to make you uh, do an ic registration right अब आईसी रजिस्ट्रेशन क्या होता है तो तू पढ़ ले पहले एक दिन गो थ्रू इट लर्न हाउ इट इज डन रिसर्च ऑन इट एंड टुमारो कम टू मी एंड आई गिव यू दैट वर्क राइट सो इट्स नॉट दैट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग हिम न्यू वर्क आई एम आल्सो मेकिंग हिम वर्क विद मी सो दैट ही ग्रोस राइट मेक मनी अ रीजन अ रिलायबल कांस्टेंट लाइक आई सेड मनी इज नॉट द ओनली थिंग व्हिच विल मोटिवेट एंड if it does then please it is your responsibility to show him other ways of motivation create a sociable environment team meetings karo uh, address your troops everything build a team ethos and feeling that happens again if you have a friendly environment you have you greet them that is that can be happen in, this is about how you maintain your office or how you manage your work that a role model example like i said a leader is not somebody who will skip the task a leader is somebody who inspires so inspire your team so that they can follow you willing right give people time to talk to you like i mean i don't know now it's it's my nature or whatever like nisha said i'm always a call away so you know we are two partners in the firm But believe me, there is some problem with somebody. You would rather come to me first than going to the other partner. So, you know, this is also a strategy which you follow. There is one partner in the firm who shows that he is in control, you know. But there is this other partner of the firm who is kind of light with people. So it is easy for people to come to her or to me to tell them and to share their problem. because they are a little scared of the other person i'm not saying the other person wouldn't listen to them but there are times that you want the staff to be in control as well okay so if you can manage both the sides the control part and the friendly part it is the best thing you can do right but if not then somebody from the higher level or the top level management should be a person with the people skill you know to understand people and to get to know ki wo kya raha hai you know at times it is very important to know that as well then are people fulfilling their potential that is will happen if you do the appraisals 
keep ask novel and interesting there should always be a challenge like i said don't make everything routine and uh, boring for them give them new tasks give them new challenges keep chasing time for them you know so that they also get new things to learn you never know some other person will give you some view point to something which you didn't think yourself you know know what motivates each unique person this is again how much do you know your people talks about all this Next is the style of management. Now, sir, you are doing everything. Okay, you are managing people. You are giving them. You are talking to them and everything. So, at the end, the question is, how do you get your work done? When I say to get my work done, managing, how do I manage my vision? How do I manage my goals? Again, there are different ways you can do it, but to most frequent one which i think hum follow kar sakte hain hamare office mein ek hai delegate aur ek hai empower both in delegate you have control when i say empower you don't have control on what is happening that involves more risk this involves little risk how we will talk about them in detail so when i say delegate you as a manager cannot do everything right you have, your responsibility is to get everything done from your people and let's say to get everything done from your people is delegation so what happens when you delegate one like i said motivation because when people are given work when people are given responsibility they feel motivated they know why they are there and then they feel like doing things why because they're not just coming every day and doing one thing no they are given a responsibility of something so they feel motivated to do it for you the next is better quality now even me as a person can not be good at everything but when client comes my office my firm is an umbrella where he will get dt where he will get idt advice well he will get the my advice where he will get finance the advice and believe me i cannot do all of it on my own right so rather to have people who are best in field and then give them work so me as a person mai akele jo quality nahi provide kar paungi sab alag alag kaam pe if i have a person who specialized that something i can be assured that my clients get a very good quality of work right and the third is learning so the more work you delegate the people will learn from what they do like i said things are changing for us every now and then so the more they do the more they will learn then the next is you don't have to obviously you don't have to do everything you have to just vouch things are being done as they supposed to be done so you have to remember this at the end of the day you should not be the person who is doing everything rather you should be the person who is delegating that okay and yes, the risk the risk is less why is the risk less because obviously if i am the person who is doing everything then maybe at the end of the day there will be some task which was important and it skipped off my mind or maybe i do i'm doing so many things together that but even i'm a person with 24 hours a day so i couldn't complete it but it was the deadline so if you assign as the risk is always minimized right there are best people doing it for you you have good quality the people are learning they are learning they are growing your firm is growing and they are motivated and last but not least you are free when i say you are free you can now think of how to get my firm ahead you know that like i should go on automation or how i improvise on my goals and my vision that is what is your job as a leader right next is empowerment so when you say delegation so basically you delegated something to a person or a team maine i give an example like i wanted to color my uh, office okay i wanted to renovate my office and i had a team i just told them that you go select the color you want you just get me the design get it to me i will approve it and then we will go ahead 
ठीक है ये ऐसा मैंने एक बार किया एंड देर वॉज दिस पर्सन निशा निशा डिड इट वेरी नाइसली एंड आई रियली रियली लव वॉट डिजाइन शी वॉट फॉर मी एंड देन ओवर द इयर्स से आफ्टर टू थ्री इयर्स आई सीन हाउ निशा हैज बिन वर्किंग विद फुल कमिटमेंट एंड शी इज आई हैव ऑलवेज इंगेज हर ऑल्सो विद a lot of challenges and she's always done it nicely and then after 3 4 years when there is an expansion i'm planning and there is another opportunity i have to open i think this is the time i would like to empower her when i say empowering empowering has no control empowering is like you do it on your own i believe in you whatever you will do you will do it nicely if you get stuck somewhere come to me i'm always there for your support but you have The whole power to decide things on your own, to take decisions, and to get the work done. That is empowering. So when do you reach empowering? Is when you believe in that person, when you've already given tasks to that person over the year, and you are ready to take the risk. It follows. It has some risk. So if you are a kind of a person who cannot and just cannot leave control, then maybe empowerment is yet not for you. because when we talk about empowerment you lose control you can rather go on delegation right so you can rather go on delegating work so that it is done and at the end it will not move ahead or it will not finish without your approval but if you are a person who takes risk and believe me if you have to grow if i have to just sit in this one office i might rather take everything in my control but if i want 10 branches if i want to explore different nations i will at one point of time need to empower my staff and employees so that every now and then for every decision it is not me who is being called when i am actually taking care of other branch this is something we are stuck at over here can we go ahead like this no it is okay i believe in you whatever you will do i will accept it if you are stuck come to me है आठ महीने तीन महीने में ऑब्वियसली आई विल वाउच अबाउट हाउ टू ब्रांचेस रन सो दैट इज एंपावरमेंट द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन एंपावरमेंट एंड डेलीगेशन इज कंट्रोल हाउ मच कंट्रोल डू यू वांट एंड हाउ मच रिस्क डू यू वांट टू टेक विल डिसाइड व्हाट यू वांट टू फॉलो ओके सो आई एम ऑलमोस्ट एट द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ माय स्लाइड एंड बिलीव मी दिस इज द बेस्ट थ्योरी व्हिच आई हैव सीन ओके so it happened with most of us it happened with me for quite some time at times it still happened with me so the thing is don't take the monkeys now when i say don't take the monkeys the theory it is a one minute ma- it is from the book a one minute planeter uh here the concept is that you assign work to your team okay so you assign work to your team now say i have given some research i have given some uh, work to team a when the leader of the team i call that person when the person comes he uh, ma'am i am stuck at this and now i don't know how to go further the moment i say it's okay you've done this much i'll take care of it it is like a monkey has just jumped on my back okay and that team is gone now i basically i have a monkey sitting on my back ki mere ko ab wo kaam to kar rahi hai jo main kar rahi thi uske alawa and there is this team b who comes to me and tells me that ma'am uh, we had gone for this hearing but now we are stuck there and uh, we don't know how to proceed further and you had done you had a similar case last time so maybe you will be able to do it in a very much better way because we are scared we don't want the client to lose because of us so ma'am why don't you jump in and see if it is going in the right way and i'm like theek hai main dekh leti hu i had just done it that way so i'll be able to do it there i have another monkey company okay so every time i take a task from my team a jumpy uh, a monkey jumps on my back at the end of the day my i'm like this photo over here where i go back home and i have so many jump uh, monkeys jumping on my back why so the monkey year is the burden of work which is passed from on me from some other person now going back to the team a person you know what you should try as a boss is you have as less monkeys you have on your back you know so 
The moment you say, I will take it from you, there is a monkey on your back. So don't say that. Don't, don't say a yes. You know, like we've always said, don't say a yes for everything. You know, learn to say no. And I'm not saying learn to say no. But now when you look at this concept in a way and your employee is coming and he's saying, Ki, ma'am, I'm here to go. I know ki yaar ab mere upar ek monkey kootne wala hai. So the moment I'm like, kidhar atta gyo, you know, what is the problem? And he tells me, I've done this, 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 this thing, but ab isse aage nahi hoga. I'm like, I tell him, did you try this thing in the XYZ manner? And he's like, no. I ask him, do you think you'll be able to do it in the XYZ manner? And he says, ki, I can try. I'm like, okay, go try. If you cannot do it, then tell me, I'll help you for that. I'm like, there are more. I'm like, harsh. There's no monkey on my back. Yeah. There's this other person who comes to me after that. He's like, I am getting late today. I have to go. There is somebody who's not well at my place. Can you please do it for me? You know, when I say I'm a people's person, when I say people come to me with problems, this is something which really happens with me, you know. So, but I know one thing in my mind. I don't want monkeys on my back when I go back home. Okay. So when somebody comes here, I had this thing happening and I really want to go home. Can you just do this for me? I'm like, well, I'm already uh, burdened up with work. What you can do is see if somebody is free outside, ask him to do it for you or there is a work from home option for us. I'm okay with you if you work from home for two days, but get it done. I'm like, hush, they call monkey. But yeah. So this is what you're supposed to do. Whenever you are at this side of the table, Please make sure it is not you at the end who is just doing everything every time. Give them time. Tell them that two days or two. So, how do you do it? Come to me after two days. See, I'm always there to help you. But at the end, it should not be that I am working for my employees because if I keep taking these monkeys, you know, it will be like that. Monday morning when I come uh, to office, there's the staff calling me out. And I'm going to go because now we next process. Pe hai. And, I, and I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to go because I'm going to do another job. Karne no, this is not what should be happening. So keep this picture in your mind. Believe me, whenever there is a monkey jumping from, on, on your shoulder from somebody else, you will realize how you have to talk. Okay. So whenever you go out of the office, make sure you don't have monkeys on your back. The more monkeys you have on your back, the more work you have to do. So get rid of your monkeys by giving them motivation and tell them that they are capable of solving problems. Give them responsibility. I am okay if you take a day or two more, but I am sure you can do it. Right? And I'd be very happy if you do it on your own rather than me doing it for you. Okay, this is how you learn. Okay. So that is the monkey theory for me. I am done. So if anybody has any questions, they can ask me. Ma'am, we have written a question in a chat box. Okay. The chat box. What are the nice ways and tricks to tell the person that you are not performing well and it's time to leave the organization? See, this is, like I said, the, the theory of good and bad, good news, bad news, good news, which you can say. What you can say is, the, uh, I'm very happy with what you've been doing, but now I expect you, and now you've been working with us for some long time, and now I expect maybe you are, you are reaching here, but I don't see that growth for you. Or maybe... There is some other place where I think this is not the quality. department And I feel, you know, this is not where you fit in, you know. You are more of an audit person. So, but I don't have that place in audit for you. Or at tax wala place, I would have rather have somebody who has the heart to do it. it you would grow if you move to some other place, you know, maybe find some uh, opportunities for him. Tell him the good things which you see in him rather than just telling him, say, you are not fit for the job. He might not be fit for the job, but I'm sure he might be having some other qualities which he's good at. Rather, give him some advice. You might be the person, you might be like those teachers you come, you give the elocution and you are the person who can be good at it. And then I realized, okay, I am a person who can actually talk. 
So many a times the employees don't see what is in them. If you can figure the good things in them and where they can put them into use, rather than sitting into your office and finding little things with them, that not the place for them to be in a very good way. I hope I've answered your question. Okay, so I have a new question from Kalpesh Kumar. How we can attract new employees for long-term association with firm? See, now long-term association with the firm, when you say, you know, when I employ people and if my goal and their goal are different. Now say, like I said, if I have a staff, if I, if I employ somebody and I ask him his vision, what is your vision? What do you see after you, what do you see? How do you see yourself after five years? After three to four years, I uh, plan to have my own office. Okay. Then maybe he's not the person for you. Okay. Why? Because he wants to open his own office, so he won't stay with you for three or four years. On the contrary, if you are a person who would want to spread branches or you who would want to have a branches of your firm, and if you think this person is a tentative uh, person who can handle a whole branch, then maybe he's the right person. Why? Because tell him, fine, two, three years work with us, and then maybe he is the person who will be leading this branch, your branch, but he will be the leader. So, uske goals or aapke goals jab tak match nahi karte na, you can have, you cannot have a long-term association. So, whenever you employ somebody, even if the person is really good at what he's doing, but agar aap dono ka long-term vision match nahi karte, I'm sorry, but you cannot have long-term association. So, the vision of both of you should really match. Elan also has a question. If team member is not performing well, not following policies, process, then what can be a possible solution? Letting him leave the last is the last. Okay. So now if team member is not following policies, there's always somebody in the team who keeps giving you monkeys. So I understand where this is going. So if obviously if the team member is not doing it, the team leader has a monkey on his back and you don't want that. So maybe the person is given a responsibility, either he's not good at it. You've seen picture of the whole world. Okay. He's given a lot of work on the child. And he seems to be fun because he doesn't understand what he's given. Actually, he's given a job and he's trying to distract it from the main problem. So either the thing is, you have not trained your team really well. The person doesn't know कि उसको वो काम करना कैसे है. One thing, teach him, teach him maybe कुछ कुछ लोग होते हैं जिसको आप step by step बताओ कि तू पहले ये कर, तू ये कर, तू ये कर, फिर तू ये कर. तो वो करेगा. You coach him, you train him, he will do it. But even then, if he doesn't do it, maybe like I said earlier, this is not the job he is fit for. Either if you as a team leader has the authority to shift him to somewhere else, shift him into some other job. Give him a new talent. But if he is doing a new task, if he is doing a new task, if he is doing a new task, then he will also feel good. He will be distracted for a little time, but when he will come back to his work, he will do it well. Distract him. Maybe that will work. Train him. And if not, again, you have the good sandwich, bad sandwich. You will have to pass some bad news to him. So, any other questions? No. अगर आप लोगों को कभी भी कोई बुरी खबर किसी को देनी है और नहीं समझ में आता आप लोग मेरे को फोन करके पूछ सकते हैं। अब मुझे ये बताना है मैं कैसे कर रहा हूँ। Okay, I am done for the day. Isha, if you're there. Yeah. I stop sharing. Thank you, Diana. Uh, lovely examples you gave and the all the aspects of the topic was so well covered. The railway example, the monkey example, you started with a wonderful story. How can a leader be 
the characteristics of leader and relating it with our profession at your first attempt it was really wonderful amazing uh, and the beauty is uh, along with the examples you covered the theory also well uh, the motivation part the characteristics of a leader how to delegate how to be a good team member how to amazing it's really in, and and i'm really glad to have you and amdabad branch of icci is really proud that we have our own speakers and i think uh, uh, god bless and uh, you, you should keep uh, delivering such lectures thank you thank you so much anjali and mosam if you have anything to share uh, you can also uh, and i would request all the participants to share their feedback siddharth uh, has just thanked me thank you siddharth for giving me appreciation i think he started following what i just told him thank you so much okay thank you thank you it was it was a great opportunity thank you all of you thank you a participant for your active uh, participant and i'm sure there are many key lessons Yes, Kalpeshji, keep participating, and we'll uh, and we'll arrange many more sessions for you. Thank you all. We end the session here. Happy weekend to all of you. Thank you.